Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on why intellectual properties can be deemed the utmost best type of assets. Why is this the case you may ask? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. In stark contrast to other types of assets, intellectual properties can be integrated into your investment portfolio for free without you expending a single penny. The only cost that is incurred on your end is time to be able to bring these intellectual properties to fruition. These intellectual properties that you can manifest in a reality, that you can create, that you can produce, that you could churn out, can come in a vast variety of disparate forms. They can allow you to exercise your creativity and ingenuity. They can be the embodiments of your creativity. Intellectual properties can encompass videos, archive live stream broadcasts, songs, podcast episodes, audiobooks, ebooks, custom made print on demand merchandise, online courses, software applications, mobile games, customizable templates, and of course, photos. You have autonomy at any given moment to create intellectual properties. If they underperform, they fail to meet revenue forecasts as an aggregate. You can still earn revenue on them in the future post them being monetized. They have the latent potential to generate revenue in perpetuity post being monetized. So just because they underperform at this juncture, there's still a chance that sometime in the pending future, they can become viral. If your intellectual properties that you create become viral, the outcome can be life-altering and can allow you to rapidly become a multi-millionaire. How is this possible, you may ask? Well, due to the global digital distribution power of the internet and social media platforms, your content can reach billions of people from around the world simultaneously. Furthermore, due to the global digital distribution power of the internet, your digital products can potentially be procured by billions of people from around the world at any given moment as they so choose to procure your products. So do not underestimate the power of global digital distribution platforms and the potential you have to be successful as an entrepreneur who creates his own intellectual properties. You want your content to be deemed engagement worthy, viral worthy, share worthy, like worthy, algorithm recommendation worthy content, and you want your content to be apt to yield high engagement rates, high watch times, high audience retention rates, and of course, high viewership rates. And you want your content to be properly optimized. You want to be able to utilize keywords that are not only germane to your content, but are also the utmost search words that are applicable to your content. You want to be able to become a dominant market competitor in the niche user-generated content markets that you compete in and in the niche product markets that you compete in. So employ the utmost, optimal, utmost prudent, utmost efficacious search engine optimization practices. Make sure that the metadata that you utilize to render your content and products all the more discoverable is not only germane to your content and to your products, but is also the most searched metadata a part of the content categories and product categories that your intellectual properties are subsumed under. Utilize germane, highly searched for keywords when producing the metadata for your content and your products. It will 
redound to your advantage if, if it can allow your content and your products to populate on the front pages of the search engines and not be relegated to the bowels of the search engines. The more discoverable your content and products are, the more apt they are to be consumed, to say the least. If there's no content awareness, if there's no product awareness, then there's no hope for your content or your products going viral. So you need to increase the discoverability of your content and of your products. And you could utilize your social media channels as marketing vehicles to drive traffic to your product pages where your target market has autonomy to procure your product offerings from. You can vector your target market to your product pages if you have behemoths brands on social media platforms. So intellectual properties are the quintessential assets. There are plenty of multi-billion dollar intellectual properties. What are some you may ask? Well, some multi-billion dollar media franchises encompass the Star Wars franchise, the Lord of the Rings franchise, the Harry Potter franchise, the Pokemon franchise, the Dragon Ball franchise, and of course, the Wizard of Oz franchise. The Winnie the Pooh franchise is also deemed a multi-billion dollar franchise. Imagine owning the master license to any one of these multi-billion dollar media franchises. Imagine how wealthy you can become just by earning royalties from selling the licenses to your media franchises. Or by offering licenses to produce merchandise or content based on your media franchises. The earnings potential is limitless. I would definitely deem intellectual properties to be the quintessential type of asset primarily because they can be created for free. They have unlimited, they have unlimited earnings potential and you do not have to squander a penny to produce them. I hope that you deem this video to be fascinating. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.